No. Um, so we, we we can start like we were talking. Yeah, man. No. About Tommy Ryan. Get, um, like I was telling you about him, you know, he was a good student. Tom Ryan. Yeah. Okay. Um, like I remember, like with with me, um, I could I had problems understanding what the teacher was saying, like with Bob Irwin, you know, and I'm sure he didn't understand what I was saying. But the thing is, he just got me so turned on. You know, like I just want to go home and, and paint, you know. So when the next day we bring in our work, I got a whole bunch, you know, and a lot of students have one work too. And Tommy, I don't remember the same thing. He had piles of them, you know. And he did this all the time I knew him, like painting, drawing, or, you know, like a bunch of them, you know. And that's why I, I maybe get attracted to these guys, you know. And guys see how they work. And Lynn Folks, same thing. I thought, man, this guy, he's the greatest artist, you know. And um, he, same thing with him, you know. And um, so it's like, I think, because of the way I feel, I think it was because of Irwin, his personality, you know. He can get you turned on just by talking, and I don't know what the hell he's talking about, you know. I just look, but I get all, you know, like just want to go home and, and paint, you know. It's totally different from, you know, the sitting down with the commercial art that I started with, you know, and the little tubes of watercolor, you know, against big cans of house paint and brush, you know, you really get into it, you know. Tell and me about that though, Ron, like, you guys, you know, like, tell me about, like, how he had you go out and get the house paint and, you know, talking more about how the abstract expressionism came about, you know? See, like, um, Instead of, you know, getting like the small tubes of, um, you know, paint, we, we get the house paint, you know, first of all, we go, go to the hardware store, it's cheaper, the paint, and you get more paint, you know. And, and it's just the way um, you have to do, it, it, it forces you to use the, you know, the, the big, brush instead of the little one, it forces you how to paint. It's different, you know. I mean, it's not like you don't sit down and do eyeballs, you know, and you get these strokes of, you know, color, you know, paint, and you really can get into it. I mean, I did anyway, you know, and, and you just, there's no stop, you know, and you just keep going, going, the image, you know, start to change and and you get somebody like Irwin, you know, when he used to come over to my studio and, you know, give a crit like what he sees, what I can do, you know, and what, you know, I can do to change it or whatever. But, you know, he talks about edges, how to paint come together, you know, and what it does, and the shape, one shape next to the other. And all that time, like, you know, I don't know what he's really talking about. All I know is like, I'm like really getting turned on, you know, to all of that. And then when I go home, that's why I said, oh, he said this, this. and you know, I, I look at the air, it makes you look at what you're doing, you know? Like I say, gee, I wonder, did he mean this? You know, and I put two together and look at the edge, which, you know, if he don't say that, you never really look at him, you know? But this way, it forces you to look at what you're doing, you know? And like the stroke going this way against 
going this way, you know, what it does, you know. And um, you just really can get into, you know, your, your work, you know. What was he like, like, as a, as a personality, Ron? Like, what kind of person was he, you know? How, what was, what was it about his personality that... What, he, he, um, all I can say is he, he, he has that personality where, I mean, he can really get you into your work. And, and at that time, he was my teacher. So, you know, that, what else do you expect him to do, you know? I, I think that's it. You can't sit down and, like, teach somebody how to do all that. You tell them, and if they can get into it, you know, they'll do it, you know. But I think a lot of people, it gets boring, you know, trying to do something, you know, and then they do one work, and that's it, you know. So they don't really get, they can't get into it, you know. Yeah. Um, I, I think for, for me anyway, that's, you know, and like Emerson Wolfer, he, he never talked to me too much about all that, that shape and that image and all that. <laughs> he said, just paint. He looked, he come to my studio and have a whole bunch of them, you know. He said, just paint, <laughs> you know. And he, he just want you to work, you know. And um, don't worry about all these uh, other things, you know. And maybe that's fine, you know. Like I tell him, oh, um, I talked to Bob Irwin and this is what he said. Well, you know, that's fine. You want to do that? Go ahead. <laughs> just paint. Just do it, you know. And, and that's what I did, you know. It was just about painting. Yeah, just, just paint. You know, when you do it, when you do it, you know, you'll see how it develops, like one thing leads to another, you know. Um, like my piece is here. Um, you can go back, like the other ones in the room f from 62, it's basically the same thing, you know. Um, but, you know, you can, you can see how, like, you know, a lot of people, they, they say, you know, what got you started on, on this certain thing? Um, you know, if, if they don't know my work, then they're not, never going to understand it. But, but you, you see from the beginning, you know, how it grows, you know. And that, that's the thing also about Chenard. I remember this because I had friends that went to Otis, the other school. Um, my ex-wife, uh, roommate, her boyfriend went there. So, you know, we always, we talking and uh, you look at his work, you can see why he liked that school as opposed to Chenard, you know. For me, I look at them and you can see, you know who they studied with. They all look the same, you know. They, they may be all nice paintings, but you know, it's like the whole classroom doing the same thing, you know. And over the years, you look at Joe, you know, and Larry, you know, Ed. You, you see their work and mine, you know. We all have our own, own like, image, you know. Um, and you can't just say, like, oh, yeah, he, he started with him, you know. To me, that, that, that's what I see about Chenard, you know. And you, you're not talking about two, three, four people. You get a whole bunch of them, you know. And they're still there today, <laughs> you know. I mean, the, the people that I know, you know, they're still there. They're doing it. 
they're doing very good, you know. Um, so. Bro, there's something like when I look at that, um, when I look at that War Babies picture, there's something exciting there. Like, it looks to me like there's a bunch of really strong individuals there. You know, like you said, everyone had their own ideas about art and their own style and their own this. What was it like? Take, take me through that group of characters that you knew. What were they like? Were they, <laughs> were they crazy? Were they, you know, what were they like? Were they, you it know, must have been interesting, no? Actually, I don't even remember that much, but <laughs> um, all I know is, is Joe got us together to do a show, you know. Um, we were all doing different stuff, you know, and we were all friends. Um, but, you know, us <laughs> all I know is is we bring our stuff there and um, met Henry Hopkins, who was the director. And, you know, we had this show. And um, more than that, I didn't really know, I, 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 for, I, I even forget what we showed, you know. Um, because it caused so much trouble, they closed it. <laughs> So there was no more show after that. Are you talking you know. about the war babies? Yeah. Tell me what, what, all, what, all what because was of the, you know the different ethnic group you know sitting around the table with the American flag, and you know you look at it and today and like what what so you know wrong with that, but you know I don't understand those people out there their thinking you know. Um, but it must have really bothered them because, you know, they closed the show down, you know. I mean, they closed the gallery, you know. Um, but the, all these years, um, that's all to talk about now, you know. Um, and I don't re really remember that much, you know. Um, all I know is, you know, we had a bunch of friends got together and did a group show, you know. But it was that poster that really made the trouble. <laughs> you know? So that the American flag, you know. So that's it. I, you know, I don't remember all too too much about it, you know. And today Today they're still talking about it. And in those days, um, I mean, even the work that I did, you know, everything I did was they would be considered pornographic, you know. I mean, today you look at them and it's like nothing. What's so pornographic about it, you know? But I couldn't show them in those days. I mean, I remember <clears throat> Walter Hobbs, when he was with uh, Pasadena Museum, you know, he came by and um, he brought Ed Kinholtz to show my so-called pornographic stuff. They, they really liked it. But he said he'd give me a show, but not those things. It was, I did, I also did other paintings. And <laughs> the, the, the thing is, he said he was going to bring some people over. And, they, and if I remember, there was three ladies, and I think there was a man, but I'm not sure, uh, but several people came. And I knew from, you know, just talking with, with Walter, some things I have to put away. So we made appointment, they were going to come at a certain time. And I thought, well, I, uh, you know, I, I'll put these things away. Well, instead of coming, like let's say, they said they're going to come at 11 o'clock or whatever, they came at like 10 o'clock, came early. And I still had some things out. And there were some things I forgot to 
you know, put away. And they walked in, and I remember <laughs> the ladies just, as soon as they went in that, that direction, and I looked, and I said, oh, shit, I forgot to put that away. <laughs> so, you know, they, they just turned around and they walked out. So I knew, I said, Walter not going to give me a show here, you know. I mean, they didn't even look at what I, the other stuff that I had, you know, that, you know, just bothered them. To, you know, I mean, if you think it's pornography, of course, you know, it's like, you know, you're not going to invite these ladies to, to see it, you know. Um, but today, you can put them up, so what's so wrong about it? Like the show, the one I had of uh, Tilton Gallery, uh, my cousin owned that piece, you know, the one with the beer cans. I couldn't show that during that time, you know, the stripper. That's all, she was just stripping, you know. What's so wrong with that, you know? Today you can show them nobody even say anything, you know. Yeah. But in those days, um, that's how it was, you know. You couldn't do it then. You know? Ron, tell me about like where you came from before you went to Chenard and what it was like as someone who didn't speak English too well and interacting with people and that new environment for you. Like, could you tell us where you came from and? Then just how you, sort of like you coming into Chanel 